Most of us would have heard last week that the Hubble Space Telescope has managed to detect the light of the farthest star ever seen. This star's light took 12.9 billion years to reach Earth, which means the star is 12.9 billion light years away, and it existed when the universe was just 1 billion years old. So for the first time, we have the image of a star that existed when the universe was so young, possibly made up of even much fewer heavy elements in it than stars have today. Hubble has previously imaged a star that existed 4 billion years after the Big Bang and it has also imaged a star called Methuselah which is the oldest known star which apparently formed just immediately after the Big Bang. So how did Hubble take this picture and how do we know so much about a star that existed billions of years before the solar system even formed? I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. One of the ways that astronomers can tell that a star or any source of light they're looking at is coming from farther away is by studying the light's electromagnetic spectrum. Here they can see how the stars are moving by studying what in a sense is the Doppler effect. When we hear an ambulance or a speeding train or a race car or even a bike, if it's moving towards us, towards the listener, the pitch from the vehicle is very high because the sound waves are being squished together forward by the speeding vehicle. As the vehicle moves away, the pitch from it lowers. The same phenomenon happens with light as well because of gravity and relativity. As a source of light, usually a star, moves towards the observer, its light in the spectrum has more blue. So, compared to a normal star's spectrum, say our sun's, the blue part has shifted more and occupied more space in the spectrum, so it is said to be blue shifted. This is because the wavelength of the light decreases. When a star moves away from us, its wavelength becomes longer and the spectrum becomes more red shifted. The universe is expanding and everything is moving away from everything else. So everything is red shifted when we study the celestial objects around us. However, we can study the extent of redshift to understand how far away a star is and how fast it's traveling. Redshift is denoted by the symbol small z. We know the speed of light and we know the rate of expansion of the universe. So with some very simple mathematics, astronomers can deduce how far away a source of light is. By measuring the rotation rate of a star and its luminosity, its age can also be calculated. Thus, this new star is the farthest known star 12.9 billion light years away. It is also among one of the oldest stars known, dated to just about a billion years after the formation of the universe. The star is named Erendil, which means morning star in Old English. Fans of Lord of the Rings and Silmarillion will know that Erendil was Elrond's father and he carried a star across the sky. But the star Erendil is not the oldest star ever known. That honor belongs to Methuselah. Back in 2013, Hubble came across a star that was well known for over a century because it moved very fast across the sky. So people had been tracking it for a hundred years. When studying it, astronomers realized that the star was actually nearly 14.5 billion years old, plus or minus a billion. The universe itself is 13.8 billion years old, so this star likely formed immediately after the Big Bang and today is the oldest known star to humans. The star's age was also confirmed in the 1950s when astronomers were able to see that the star did not contain many heavy elements. Today, we know that heavy elements form in the core of stars through nucleosynthesis. But these old stars did not have enough time for heavy elements to form. So the stars naturally did not contain any. Methuselah can actually be observed with binoculars even today in the Libra constellation. The star is called Methuselah after the biblical character Noah's grandfather who lived for 969 years, becoming the longest lived human in the Bible. So many long lived things or things that indicate longevity are named after Methuselah. This includes the oldest tree in the world which is 4789 years old.
Just like Methuselah, Erendil, the new star, is also going to be of a different composition than stars that we know today. There would be more heavy elements because it did have 1 billion years to evolve, but still it wouldn't have had similar concentrations to what is found today in galactic neighborhoods. The research team estimates that Erendil is at least 50 times as massive as our sun and many millions of times brighter. It needs to be studied and analyzed more. But even such brilliantly bright stars are very hard to spot over billions of light years. It was just a single star, not a bright star cluster or a galaxy. So how did astronomers spot this lone star? This was thanks to a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. According to relativity, we know that very, very massive bodies with very large gravities can bend and warp space-time. They are able to bend the light coming from a source because of their powerful gravity and cause this bent light to then be visible in a different direction, just like a parallax error. Today, humans understand enough science, thanks to Einstein, to reverse the mathematics of this effect and can then identify the original source of light. This lensing effect also magnified the light coming to us, so we were able to see it more clearer and brighter than what a single star should have been like. This magnification effect is going to persist for a while. Now Hubble's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, is going to start making observations soon with its incredible magnification and analytical powers. One of this new telescope's objectives is to find the very first sources of light in the universe and no doubt Erendil will be a prime candidate for further study very soon. Not just that, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, soon we're going to start hearing about many more contenders for Methuselah's title and truly start to gain a picture of what the universe was really like when the very first stars appeared after the Big Bang.